Microjig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This is my version of the classic five board bench. You've got the two legs, the two stretchers, and the seat. I cheated a little bit by joining together two pieces to make up the tops and the legs because wide boards could be difficult to find. I'm gonna use some biscuits to help line these boards up. I'm gonna follow the dimensions I drew out on my diagram and transfer those to this board for cutting out both of the legs. If you download the plans to this project, I've included a full-size cutting template if you'd prefer to paste that onto the board. I'm using this cool compass a viewer sent me to draw a circle in the center. I may shoot an upcoming video on how to make this adjustable compass. It's really cool design. The joint between the two boards gives me a good center line. I need to cut this board in half first because it's too wide to fit into my bandsaw. Making those two cuts on the table saw ensures that the top and the bottom of the legs are nice and square. It's not as important that the angled cuts are exact so I can cut them out on my bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw to cut any of these pieces out, you can use a jigsaw just as well. I am going to use the cutting template for the seat. And this is really easy to cut out with a jigsaw. The final two boards I need to cut are the stretchers that are going to connect the two legs. And they sit in here at an angle. So I need to cut a bevel along the edge where it meets up with the top. But I don't need to know exactly what that bevel is because I can use the legs to set the bevel on my table saw. With my blade raised all the way up, I can set it at this angle, whatever that is. I'll use my miter saw to cut both of the boards to the same length. I'll use this cutting template for the stretchers on just one board. I just want to make sure I line it up with the top on the bevel side. For the other board, I can just trace the curve. I'm going to use my router to round over all the edges that don't connect to anything. I'll keep those square. If you don't have a router, you can just use sandpaper to ease over all the sharp edges. I'm going to attach everything using pocket screws and I've marked on all of the boards where I want to drill the holes. I'm gonna use glue and the pocket screws to give this extra support. I'm gonna start by assembling these stretchers and the legs. So I'm just insetting these stretchers about a half an inch from the edge of the legs. All right, those clamps will help hold it in place long enough for me to put the screws in. Now I can glue and screw this whole assembly onto the seat. And I'm just going to center this by eye. And that looks pretty good like that. I am of the belief that nobody who sits on this is going to take a tape measure and make sure that it's perfectly centered. <laughs> And this is normally where I would apply a few coats of lacquer or maybe paint it. <laughs> but 
I decided I'm gonna do something a little different this time. Here's what I picked up, Danish oil. And I've used this before, but I never really knew what it was. I figured it was just kind of like linseed oil or something. <laughs> but I just learned this weekend, after going to the Weekend with Wood magazine conference, I sat in on a class with Mark Spagnolo, the wood whisperer, and he explained exactly what this is. This is just a blend of oil and varnish. And well, you could make your own, but I thought it'd be fun to try this out. And I got a color, it's called Golden Oak. So we'll see how this looks. I'm gonna flood it on using a rag. I think the idea here is that you'll get the earthy look of an oil finish, but the protection of a polyurethane. I put two coats of the Danish oil on and I'm gonna wipe off any of the excess. It looks pretty good. I really think the fun part about building a five board bench is that the construction is so simple you can really make it your own and modify the design any way you want. If you'd like to build my design, check down in the description for a free set of plans that also include the full size cutting templates. And as always, thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If this is your first time here, welcome! And I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I post brand new woodworking videos every Friday and I've got a large archive of videos too. So if you're new to woodworking, browse through those videos and you're bound to find some projects that you can make. And if you found this video valuable, please take a moment to share it with others and spread the word about woodworking for mere mortals. Woodworking that all of us can do. <laughs> Thanks everybody, I'll see you next Friday.